Four o'clock contest on the face of it, a low key into proceedings, a hands and heels novices handicap hurdle race. How wrong can you be? Won't be too much longer, they're about to come into line. And they're off. They jump away to race over two miles for the racing post hands and heels jump series novices handicap hurdle approaching the first of the eight flights wise men say is making the running from Baybury King with Bourne Boy racing prominently high profit tracking the leaders chestnut with a white face out wide is global strategy rather awkward jump from the leader wise men say and Baybury King jumps past him Bourne Boy remains prominent Days of Pleasure is tracking the leaders together with King Barthwick. Graham's Girl is just behind them with Dance with the Devil on the inside. Sweet World's currently last. Levantine is towards the tail of the field and charting a wide course, starting to pull hard under owner Mike Lurcock. So Baybury King leads the field up past the enclosures from Wise Men Say one side and Born Boy on the other. Global Strategy with a sheepskin noseband moves up on the outside to take fourth as they run into the turn after those races days of pleasure and high profit to their inside come King Barthwick and Graham's girl who's going the shortest way that's being followed by dance with the devil Levin tiny's out wide of sweet world as they jump the next flight of hurdles with the field covered by little more than half a dozen lengths so they're about to swing right-handed to race into the back straight Babery King is the leader from Born Boy and then comes Wise Men Say Days of Pleasure tracking them in fourth and High Profit Graham's Girl in the two shades of blue is up the inside under Jeremy Maho out very wide on the course Global Strategy under Jack Sherwood as they jump the first on the far side Babery King Wise Men Say Born Boy Global Strategy King Barthwick didn't jump that very well brings him off the bridle and drops back through the field He's now amongst the back markers as they head towards the middle flight on the far side. Flight number five of the eight. Baybury King, Wise Men Say, Born Boy, Global Strategy, Levantine out widest of all. High Profits, White Face still showing well to the fore as they continue their journey down the back straight. King Barthwick struggling badly at the back of the field. Dance with the Devil still held up towards the tail of the field. Graham's girls lost her position as they jumped the last on the far side. Baybury King, High Profit, Global Strategy, the wide racing Levantine. Sweet World has come there under Isabel Tomset making progress. Wise Men Say starting to lose his ground as he was rather jostled out of it as they go towards the end of the back straight. And Sweet World has come from almost last to first in the space of the back straight under Isabel Tomset. Tom set to now show in front from Baybury King on the inside of High Profit who travels well under Peter Tull. Global Strategy still right there on the outside. Wise Men Say is running fifth. Levantine has dropped back into sixth. Born Boy has beat a retreat. Graham's Girl is trying to rally as the leaders make the swing back towards home. They've got two to jump in the home straight. Sweet World and Global Strategy are the front pair who now match strides as they level up with High Profit third to turn in. Wise Men say is rallying under an orthodox handling in fourth place and they've gone clear from Baybury King. Global Strategy now shows in front under Jack Sherwood coming over the second last. Global Strategy jumped it in front from the rallying Wise Men Say who's running on well for Anthony Knott in second place. Born Boy has been pulled up. King Barthwick is tailed off there. Coming down between the last two flights of hurdles and Wise Men Say has regained the initiative. Wise Men Say jumped the last a length in front of Global Strategy. Here on the inside is Dance with the Devil who's been given a very quiet ride by Donald Devereux but he's coming after the leader now. It's Wise Men Say from Dance with the Devil. Global Strategy can't go on. Still it's Wise Men Say who's staying on strongly and will win the finale. Wise Men Say the rider has got home in front by a length and a half. Second place to Dance with the Devil. Third place went to Global Strategy. The rallying Graham's Girl was next and the weakening Sweet World was fifth. Do you think he was pleased? Anthony Knott riding his first career success aboard as wise men say. Repelling the challenge of Dance with the Devil. Global Strategy third. 
7 to 1, 13 to 2, and 11 to 1, the SPs. And the winner was backed as well, owned by uh, the rider, whose enthusiastic celebrations almost a little premature. Um, the second horse got an almost overconfident ride, really, but uh, take absolutely nothing away from the winner. Whether or not he mistook the disc on the left-hand side of the course for the winning post, only he will know, but he certainly celebrates a little bit early. There you can see he's just winding the crowd up and continues to ride on enthusiastically all the way to the line where we get the full version of the celebrations, as wise men say, scores for the local farmer, Anthony Knott, who after 28 years, after riding in his first race, rides his first winner, and you can see the actual enthusiasm, concerned. Get the wave to the crowd in a minute. There you go. He's just revving them up because, as you would imagine, he got an absolutely terrific reception on his return to the unsadly enclosure. And amongst them was Nick Luck. Yeah, Joe Tizard upside, Anthony. Now listen to this reception. You've never heard anything like it here at Wincant. He, 28 years I've been waiting for that, he's just said. Is he going to do a flying dismount? This race, of course, device for young lads to learn their <laughs> trade. That's, he's not much younger than me. Oh, let, let's go and have a word with him. We've got to have a quick word with him. Here he is, Anthony Knott. Let's have a quick word. Anthony, well done. You just said 28 years yeah, I've been waiting I've been for, for that. that. Yeah, I can't believe it. Um, it's all down to Joe and, and Colin. I had a few horses with him a few years ago. And um, had a few um, other problems and just come back and um, Colin sold me the horse earlier on. And um, it's like a dream. I was going to say tell us a bit about yourself, but I feel like I know all about you now. Wild <laughs> celebrations. Did you mistake the winning post? No, no, I thought I'd give a salute on the way in. <laughs> you were that far clear. You knew you couldn't be caught. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's very good. And, um, um, you know, Joe, uh, Joe said that we've been working really well at home. But, um, you know, the, 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 the handicap was me because I need about three stone in hand. And we're, we're, is this your first winner of any description? Yeah, and I've never had a winner. And have you ridden in points? Yeah, when I was 16. <laughs> and, and you just thought you'd make a comeback this winter? Yeah, that's I'm 44 now, so... Um, what's that chap what won the Grand National? He's 48, wasn't he? Because everybody's been saying, like, oh, it's just a waste of time you doing that. And, well, Joe's been taking a mickey at me for months. <laughs> and um, I just literally can't believe it. And, and who'd you base your style on? Nobody. <laughs> no. Um, no, Joe been trying to help me a little bit. But... <laughs> you say you base yourself on Joe Tizard, yeah? Yeah, but it's not like that at all. <laughs> but, um, no, I just, just can't believe it, really. And a huge fan club here as well. Yeah, well, I mean, just lived just, just down the road. And um, it's just you know, a lot of lo local support. And are you going to carry on on him? Um, no, I always... I, 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 my wife was... Um, I rode a few years ago, about four years ago, and had a few rides, and I was never fit. Could never get fit enough. And because I'd normally go along the back straight, and I've got to step and have a breather, and then have another go. And um, but I've, I've just been training a little bit different this time, and uh, it's just um, just paid off. But the horse helped me out a lot. Jumped really well. Got in under a few, but he helped me out. Well, I said to a few friends today, I said, I, wouldn't, I was not, I never had one little Listen, bit of it. You, you've got a way in, Anthony, yeah, otherwise, otherwise you're, the famous, famous moment will be taken away from you. Uh, he's got a way in.